we are about to embark on a bike packing expedition where I go over all the essential gear so you'll be prepared for your next bike packing adventure. Let the games begin. First order of business, put your phone in airplane mode. So one thing I should clarify is, to me, bike packing is like backpacking. It's off-road and it's camping. It's not staying in hotels, it's not a lot of highway miles. That I would consider bike touring. I would suit the bike to the terrain that you're riding. This adventure is all single track, so I decided to take my hardtail mountain bike. So of course, the first critical ingredient is gonna be a bike and a set of bags. There's no perfect bag setup. Each has its pros and cons. For example, today I'm running a mix of Blackburn, Apidura, and Aero bags. If you do a frame mount bag, it's critical to do side mount bottle cages so that you can actually get your water in and out with the bag. And let me know if you wanna see a video of me breaking down all the bike packing bags I've used. I could do that. You know, one thing I surprisingly use a lot are these rubberized restrap straps. They are super useful, really light, and the fact that they're grippy makes them my go-to. There we go, that's better. Some critical essentials. Maybe they go without saying. A good route's gonna make or break the experience. Generally, how I'll find routes, how I found this route, was from just doing other rides that we do. I'll make mental notes of places that would be easy to camp or would just be a fun experience. Other resources are websites like bikepacking.com, ridewithgps.com, and your local adventure bike shop. The other thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure the weather's gonna cooperate. And if it doesn't, prepare accordingly. If there ever was a more admirable breed of human, it would be those who camp in the winter. Other essential elements for the bike are a multi-tool, a tubeless plug or a patch kit, an extra tube, and a pump. You gotta be able to fix any kind of minor mishap that may or may not happen during your ride. And if you don't wanna watch the whole video, I get it. I put a list with links to everything that I talk about down below, so you can just cut to the chase. I mean, I won't take it personal, just cause you don't wanna watch this video that I worked really hard on. It's fine, I, I don't care really just, it's hard out here. Oh, the other thing is, we've only got a couple hours of sunlight left, and we definitely have a ways to go to get to camp and set up camp before it gets dark. We better keep moving. God, it's so steep. I don't need to tell you to bring water, do I? Ride food, don't forget ride food. Whoa, major blowdown. This looks like a tree exploded. Our path is that way. Oh my God. This is gonna be interesting. Sweet home. Congratulations, day one in the books. Oh, 
And one of the most essential things you're gonna need is a bike. And the best place to get a bike is at the Pros Closet, the world's largest online retailer of certified pre-owned bikes. Seriously, they've got all the bikes. Like skinny tire bikes, medium skinny tire bikes, and really big tire bikes. And you can rest assured you're doing the right thing by buying certified pre-owned. That's right, you're not adding to the waste stream. In fact, you're a better person for it. I wish I was a better person. Check out theprosecloset.com where you'll find your next bike packing bike of your dreams. Yep, I've seen it, it's good too. It's real good. Now these two things are not essential, but they sure do make life a lot more pleasant. A tasty beverage after your long day of riding in the saddle and an actual campsite. So you can rest assured that fresh water, a safe space and fire pit are there waiting for you. They're not essential, but they are nice. If you plan on camping at a campsite, you're going to need cash because they don't have any of that. Yeah, I went there. Another essential ingredient is clothing to change into after riding. You do not want to sit in your riding clothes all night. Just trust me. What I like to do is the merino tuxedo. Long sleeve merino base layer, merino long johns. They pack down small, they're light, they work great for sleeping in, they're comfortable. I mean, you can't go wrong. And then you can slide into your puffer tuxedo and you are ready for just about anything. If it's past the equinox, I highly suggest bringing a headlamp because it's gonna get dark, like really dark. You sleep well? I hope so. A couple more essentials here. A light skull cap or beanie makes a world of difference at night when you're sleeping in your tent. Those little hoods on the sleeping bag, they just, they don't work. Especially if you like to sleep on your side. It just, this is the answer. Another critical element that should go without saying is a small camp stove. I like these jet boils because it all packs into this container and all you have to do is boil water quickly because when you're bike packing, the way to go is to use backpacking food. And why I like packaged or backpacking food is it travels light, it's calorie dense, and there's no dishes you have to do. You can eat right out of this thing, which is why the other essential ingredient is a long spoon, fork, foon. Because otherwise, getting this stuff out of the bottom is a nasty nightmare. The kind you don't wanna have. I don't know, unless that is your thing. Tarp, tent, or hammock? I personally prefer a tent. I like one that's small, yet big enough to sit upright in. Because we are outside in the elements all day on our bikes, I love having a little shelter that keeps the bugs away, wind at bay, and any kind of moisture off of me and my gear. So to me, an essential ingredient is a tent. This is a Mountain Hardware Nimbus One, and I like it well enough. It packs down this size, and if you think you've got a better tent, hit me up. I would love to try it out. And there's only three simple ingredients that I need inside the tent. That's an inflatable pillow, a sleeping mat, and a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, thermarest, pillow. And while it might not always be necessary, I like to use a ground cover. And I use a sheet of Tyvex because it's affordable, readily available, lightweight, breathable, and water resistant. It's some weird miracle DuPont thing. Hey, if it works for buildings, it can work for my little tent. Is a tent a building? Another essential ingredient is a trash bag. I like to use an old bag of something and fill it up. Pack it in, pack it out. And also find any other little bits of crap that you can at the site and pack that out too. I almost forgot. Another piece of essential equipment is a pair of camp shoes or base shoes. I love the foam Berkies. They're light, they're comfortable, they're super affordable, they're my favorite. There are plenty of other options out there, 
but bringing something is gonna make life a lot more comfortable. And having a pair of clean, warm wool socks for base camp is such a great move. It helps reset the day, and I like to use these socks only for base camp. I'll sleep in them if it gets cold, I'll wear them around the camp, but they're not for riding in. Another really helpful move is bags to put things in. This is hygiene, this is food, this is base camp clothes, this is jackets. Putting things in bags, it puts everything in its place, it's easy to pack, and it just makes life easier. Nylon is a smart way to go because it's really light, it doesn't hold moisture. I've been surprisingly impressed with these. Because nobody asked, what's in my hygiene pack for bike packing? We've got face towel, which doubles as a body towel if the situation demands. A little bit of MCT oil, works for the hands, hair, you can even put it on your food. Toilet paper in a plastic bag, reused. I used this last night, it worked awesome. It's basically a fancy moistened towelette. Saline nasal gel with some application, AKA Q-tips. I broke my nose as a kid and breathing at night is sometimes a challenge. This is rubbing alcohol. Totally honest, I used this to clean my bibs last night. I just sprayed it off with rubbing alcohol. It worked great. I think that's the move for travel. You don't have to wash them and let them take three days to dry. You just hit them with this and cross your fingers and hope for the best. My little sleep kit, this goes with me every time I travel. Eye cover, earplugs, and a nasal dilator. Remember I talked about the small thing of Castile soap in a plastic bag. These will pop open. Multi-use, always useful. Kids toothbrush, can't go wrong. I use, I stole the cap from an electric toothbrush. It works really good, especially because it all gets jammed in a small bag and a small thing of toothpaste. And all of that fits in here, just like this. Little bags. This is a secret weapon right here. I've even patched this one. <laughs> I've ridden like two miles and it's time to have lunch already. <laughs> Another essential gear for any bikepacking trip is a water filter. In fact, we take these on almost every ride anyways. Indispensable, completely. And the most critical of essential elements is your pre-ride stoke. This right here ought to set you up just fine. Just the right amount of adventure, just the right amount of thrill, killer music, breathtaking views, need I say more? I, I don't think there's anything else that I could say. No more. <laughs>